brought to you by Fast Pitch TV and sponsored by Three Piece Tea. Here's another episode from the 2015 College World Series. Good evening. At this time, we have Michigan head coach Carol Hutchins, student athlete Sierra Romero, student athlete Abby, excuse me, student athlete Abby Ramirez, and student athlete Haley Wagner. Coach, general comments about the game, and then we open up for questions. Well, what a game. You know, what a game. And we didn't get very many runs, but you only have to get one more than the other team. And I have to tell you, when it's one nothing game against Florida, we played outstanding defense. I saw one of my old coaching buddies, Sharon Drysdale, from back in the 70s and 80s. I said, this is old school softball. Not a lot of runs scored. But it was all the defense, and the defense starts on the mound. Haley Wagner was just one pitch focus, one pitch focus, and uh, I could not be proud of her effort and my whole team's effort. They rebounded from last night. They got it together. Our leadership got them together, and they came out here, and they just played Michigan softball. They had great enthusiasm, and they had great heart. All right, we open up for questions. Uh, Michael Kenny, Norman Transcript, Sierra, can you just talk about coming into this game, the you and this, the rest of the leaders, what were you trying to get across to the team on how trying to forget last night and just get ready for the night? No, once, that, once that game was over, we completely forgot about it. Um, we put it past us, and we knew that they still had to beat us one more time, and we were just going to make sure that we came out playing Michigan softball and do that from the get-go. For Dan Oka, the ESPN 50 Haley, how tough was it to keep this Gator lineup to zero runs? They're a really tough lineup. I mean, they came out swinging, and I knew it was going to be tough, but I just went out there, and I just attacked them, and I wasn't going to let them beat me. Uh, Chris Crowder, Michigan Daily. Haley, after yesterday, there was a lot of emphasis on energy. Um, how did you maintain that energy with only one run cushion? How could I not have energy being here today? I mean, I'm in OKC, and I get to play play for Michigan one more time, and that's, what's, that's what has my energy is that I'm here, and I get to be with my team. Carol, um, Angelique Shingelis, Detroit News. You talked about defense. Can you talk about Abby's contributions tonight? She had a double play, in, and she also stopped that ball from going out of the infield that, that could have scored Hager. You can talk about Abby's defense all year. She's done an outstanding job at shortstop all year long, and uh, she's just made made the plays for us. And, you know, Haley is a contact pitcher, so you got to have a, a good middle infield behind her, and she certainly has a great one. Kevin Sanzo, Michigan Daily. Coach, you have one game left to define this season. and Is it an advantage to you that you've been stressing that type of mentality, taking it one pitch and one game at a time all year? Well, I can guarantee you that one game is not going to define our season. We've been defining it all year. And uh, they asked me what I want this team to be remembered. I want to be remembered as a great Michigan team that played for Michigan and played for each other. This team's doing that, and that's all I can ask. Everything else will take care of itself. Ted James, Michigan Daily. Haley, for you, how much of a relief was it to get Hager the pop out late in the game, knowing you hopefully and likely weren't going to have to face her again? Um, you know, I, I, I mean, I just went after her. I attacked her, and I was going to find a way to get her out, and I was going to jam her up. I was going to throw my change up. I was going to go outside. I was doing whatever I can, and when I got her, I was pumped and I was excited, but it wasn't going to stop me for the rest of the game. And Coach, for you, how evenly matched are these two teams? Hey, at the World Series, everybody's evenly matched. You know, some teams might be one, better at one thing, some teams might be better at another thing, but uh, I think we're both very good teams, and we both have good offense, we both have good pitching, we both have good defense. And um, honestly, the game will be what the game will be. You know, we, if we can stay one pitch focused, we have a chance. Steve Kornacki, MGOBlue.com. I have two questions. One, it, one is for Abby and Sierra. You play behind Haley, and you know better than anybody what she gives a team. If you could both talk about what she gives your team when she's in the circle. Sierra. Um, oh, okay. Um, well, one thing is confidence. I mean, when she stepped out that, on that mound today, there was no doubt in my mind that she was there to get the job done. And playing behind someone who's up there, you know, ready to attack every – attack every batter is awesome. Um, just knowing that they're not going to give up, that helps your defense so much because they have confidence in you, and we just assure her every inning that we have her back. Abby? Um, I definitely say determination because she was 
she went out there tonight and she attacked them and she wasn't going to let anything get in her way. And um, that just makes everyone else feel so much more comfortable and have so much trust in her. And when we trust in her, it's so much easier for us to um, do our part to help her out. And Haley, talk about having them behind you and also what you thought you did, what you thought you did particularly well tonight. I mean, having my entire defense behind me, um, I trust and believe in them no matter what. I just said that I'm a contact pitcher and that's true. And I know that if I just let, make them put it in play that my defense is going to have my back the entire time. I mean, today I just went after them. I wasn't going to let them get in my way, and I was just making the ball spin and doing what I can. Hutch, I also have two questions. Uh, first, your voice is a little hoarse. Um, the play with, with Sierra was what did, you, what did you make of that play at third? Well, uh, she's just being aggressive, and she's been aggressive all year for us. And so when you're aggressive like that, sometimes you're going to be out. I certainly didn't want to be out at third base on that play, but, uh, you know, it's just the way it happened, and sometimes you live and die by, you did, know, your philosophy. Did you think it was obstruction, though? Well, you know, I'm not the umpire. <laughs> My second question is, you obviously have had success with Haley. Should we expect to see her on the mound uh, tomorrow night? I think we will definitely do everything we can to win tomorrow night. Uh, this is for the uh, players. It's a uh, want to take all game tomorrow. Just what's going to be the the mood and uh, I guess attitude of the team heading into uh, tomorrow game, tomorrow's game. So Haley. Um, I mean, this is the last game. This is what we've been working for all year. And if we were excited today, we're going to be even more excited tomorrow. And we're just going to come out there and keep playing Michigan softball. We're going to have fun and we're going to attack and we're going to do what we do. Abby. Like Haley said, we're going to attack. We're going to go out there and um, not make it. To, uh, bigger than any other game, but also um, we're just going to play with a lot of heart and never give up. Kind of like what they said, it's just another game, and we're just going to go out there and play Michigan softball, and if we do that, we should be just fine. Yeah, uh, Sierra, Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma, and you, you mentioned that you, last night you forgot about last night's game. But How tough is it the way it ended with you on third base, a chance to score, you didn't go? Did, was it hard to get to sleep? Did you beat yourself up? Or, or how do you get rid of that so quickly? I mean, we weren't out of it. Um, you know, everyone's going to have their opinion whether I should have gone or not, but I was the only one in that game at that moment, and I made the decision that I made. And, I mean, I don't think it affected us. We won today, right? <laughs> <laughs> Haley, Mark Snyder, Detroit Free Press. You call your own game, and now that, because you can do that, how does that affect momentum in, in terms of the flow you can get going on? Could you start going faster because of that? No? Um. I don't think I go any faster. It gives me time to not get distracted by the fans or anything else. I have to think about what pitch I want to throw next. And sometimes um, Jen Brendan, she uh, sometimes gives, gives Lauren a sign to what she thinks I should throw, and I decide if I want to throw it or not. But I just go out there, and I just keep my rhythm, and I just go after him. How long have you been doing that? Um, since Minnesota series. For the Tyler Scott, Michigan Daily. Uh, for the players, what was different in your guys' approach and preparation and mentality before today's game versus maybe how you were feeling before yesterday's game one? Sierra. Um, it started with CeeLo. I mean, the second she stepped in the box, she came out swinging, and that's what we needed. We needed to attack from the get-go, and that's what we did. And even if it didn't go our way, we were just going to keep taking our hacks because once we stopped swinging, that's when you know we can't do anything. Abby. Um, I, th I think we, we always prepare the same. for We never prepare any differently, but... Um, I think today we just had a lot more energy from the get-go, and we didn't wait, and we didn't hold back at all. So I think we just like put it all out there uh, from the beginning. Haley? I mean, I think they said it all. Um, it starts with the first pitch, and we go out there and we attack, and our energy was up, and CeeLo's got us going with the bats, and she's our spark of our team, and um, she's up there and ready to go, and it just carries on throughout the team. All right. Are there any other questions? All right. One more question. Yeah, Sierra, one last thing for you. For those of us that haven't seen you play live until you got here, tell us the story behind your eye black. It's fairly, it's fairly pronounced. Oh, uh, I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> I think it looks cool. Um, I don't know. I, uh, I am very superstitious, and you can ask Megan about this. Whatever type of eye black she does, whether it's two stripes, three stripes, or none, I do whatever she does. And um, that's just how I am, and that's what I'll continue to do. All right. Coach, student athletes, thank you for your time. Thank you. Hi, my name is Andrea Durant. I'm a two-time national champion with UCLA, a two-time world champion with the USSSA Florida Pride, 
and a 2008 U.S. silver medalist with Team USA. I believe that the three-piece tee is a great tool, whether you're just starting out playing softball or you're a U.S. Olympian, because everybody needs balance in their swing, because balance is power.